Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about push button and control the inbuilt LED of Node MCU using a push button. So let's get started. So what is a push button? A push button is a component that connects two points in a circuit when you press it. Sounds complex right? We'll simplify this for you. Look at the figure which is marked by 1, 2, 3, 4 on your extreme left. It is a push button, okay? Now, look at the normal figure which is marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 and, and, and a switch or a handle in between those two lines which are not connected, okay? That is the internal circuit of a push button. When the button is pressed, that handle or switch that is not connected right now gets connected as shown in figure 3 marked as button pressed. Okay, So a push button is used to send a discrete signal to node MCU in this particular video. And on the right, you can see the picture of a push button module. Now there are three pins in the push button, the ground pin, the 5 volt or the power pin and the sense pin or a pin that is marked with S and using this pin uh, in, an input signal is sent to the node MCU. The sense pin is used to send discrete signal to the node MCU as I said. Pull down resistance is a resistance that keeps the value of sense pin to 0V when the switch is not pressed and when we press the switch that value goes to 5V. Now, if it goes to 5V, that means it is giving a high signal to the node MCU. Okay, now push buttons are used in calculators, buzzers, bells and in various industrial purposes. And this is how we will connect the node MCU and the push button. The ground of the push button will go, go to the ground of node MCU. The 5V of the push button will go to the 3V pin of node MCU. Remember one thing that the node MCU's maximum power supply, whether it is input or output, is 3.3V. Okay, so the ground, when we connect the 5V with the 3V, it's actually getting the 3V power supply from the node MCU. And the S or the sense will be connected to any input output pin of the node MCU, and in this case, we will connect it with D1. Now uh, we have the brief overview about push button, and now we'll go to our Arduino ID and code. So here is our Arduino ID. The first two lines are the macro. If you are not sure about what a macro is, please go back to the previous video where I have explained macro and then come back to this video. Understanding the basics are very important as that is the core motive of this course. Now in the void setup, we have described the purpose of our two pins. The button pin will take input from the push button and the LED pin will give will uh, work as an output pin as it will control the inbuilt LED of the node MCU. Now comes the main and the void loop code. In the void loop code, we are taking a variable that is int a and storing the value of digital read button. We are using digital read here because the input that will be given to us by the push button will be either 0 or 1. And since 0 and 1 is an integer value, we are storing it in the variable that is int a. Int stands for integer. Digital write LED, 1 is used to turn off the inbuilt LED of node MCU. Remember, the inbuilt LED of node MCU is connected with a NOT gate. Okay, so when I turn the pin high, that is 1, the LED will switch off. We are printing the value of a in the serial monitor and we will come to it by. Now, if the value of A is high, that is, if the value of A is 1, then we will turn on the LED, okay? So, we have done LED, 0. And if there is any other value, we will simply turn off the LED using LED, 1. So, let's upload this code to Node MCU. Before we upload the code to Node MCU, remember to select your port always, otherwise, you will get an error. So our code is now uploaded to the, our node MCU board. We'll take a look at the serial monitor. As you can see, the serial monitor prints zero. And as I press the button, I will get a value one and the light of the node MCU will blink. As I leave the button, I again get the value of zero and the LED turns off. Now, if you are using a push button module, 
it generally gives you 0 when the button is not pressed and 1 when the button is pressed but if you see 1 in this serial monitor when your button is not pressed and 0 when your button is pressed then you just simply need to change your code accordingly if here we can change it to if a is equal to low then we are turning on the led else we are turning off the led so that's why it was important to print the value of a in which we are storing the read value that we are getting from the button okay so this is a very simple application of how the push button works you can make several applications using this push button like a buzzer or or a bell for your own home i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you receive notification whenever we upload a new video and happy coding